Now I'm going to show you this in motion while we're on the bike and I'm going to show you two different ways on how I actually use it. Keep leaving. Keep we're going to talk about counter steering. Counter steering is basically sending your bike one way in order to go to the opposite in order to go to the opposite direction. So we're going to show you guys exactly what that means. All right, guys. So what is counter steering? Basically, counter steering is pretty much going in the opposite direction <clears throat> to go in the direction that you want to go. It sounds very stupid and it's counterintuitive, but here's how it works. We're not going to get into the sciences of everything. Just know if you want to go left, there's two ways to, for you to go left when you're at speed. Okay. If you want to go left, you push left on the handlebar. When you push left, your tire will go this way for a hot second and then turn back over towards the right. So by pushing left to go left, what happens is that your wheel goes this way, meaning your bike starts to fall over this way, the tire goes this way, but then the tire corrects itself and it goes back in the direction that, that you want to go. The same thing when you want to go to the right, you have to push right, your bike tips over this way, the tire goes that way for a hot second, and then your bike tire comes back the other way, evens itself up for you, for you to go right. Now this all happens when you're at speed. So it looks like your tire is actually going straight, even though you're turning. So you're going straight, but you're leaning with, with the curb. But in order to get to that lean, your bike has to tilt in the opposite direction. That's why they call it counter steering. So you're countering the bike to go in the opposite direction. Now, another way to do it too as well, two ways to do it, and there's two separate ways how I do it in, in two separate occasions. In order to go left, when your bar goes this way, you'll see that your bar is coming back towards you. So now, instead of pushing left to go left, you can pull backwards, backwards, right to go left. Another reason why they call that counter steering because you're doing something totally different in order to get the opposite result. <laughs> Once again, I know it sounds strange, but I just want you guys to know, if you wanna go left, you can also pull right. <clears throat> if you wanna go right, you can also push, uh, pull, pull left. Now I'm gonna show you this in motion while we're on the bike and I'm going to show you two different ways on how I actually use it. So I'm going perfect example I'm coming to a curve right here so all I'm going to do is push left I mean push right and then push left so we're coming towards the left curve I'm gonna push left. You see how I'm going left? Slow down to this gate. So, <clears throat> once again, I'm gonna push left to go left. You see how easy that was? Push it right to go around this curve. I'm gonna go in the middle here. I did a little left. Go here, look like I'm going to hit it, but nope, I'm going to push left. Boom, got right in between that. So basically, when you're riding, you want to push as much as the curve is. So if it's a small curve, you're not really, you know, pushing all the way, all the way, because if you keep pushing all the way, you're going to fall over. You push just enough to go around that curve like I'm gonna go right I push just enough right to go around that to go around that curve once the curve is done I get back on pushing in the opposite direction so it stables stable stables the bike so you don't need to even push the bike that much to do either you know um, um, angle so if you want to go left all you do is you just tap it just a little bit and look, I'm on the bike, I'm sitting on the bike, I'm gonna tap it just a little bit. You see how the bike just went left? Same thing with the right, I'm gonna tap it. Look how the bike just went right a little bit. 
and I'm sitting here. I'm gonna push. You see how the bike folds over? I'm just sitting here, sit right. Look how the bike. I push right. The bike for the bike falls over. So that's what happens too when you lean. So a lot of people think that they're not counter steering. You are because when your body goes to the left, that bar is gonna go <laughs> to the right, but then it's gonna counterbalance by itself. So, but you wanna have complete control of what you're doing. Don't rely on your body. You want your body to be stable. You're not on the track, okay? You want your arms to do everything. Another thing, do not have your arms all stiff like this because you can't really do anything. Your arms should be nicely bent so that way when it's time to push either left or push right, you have that motion to be able to do that. A lot of people crash in corners because their arms are so their arms are so stiff, straight like this, that when they get to the corner, they can't do anything because their arm is straight. Now they can't counter steer properly and go into the curve because their arm is so straight. They don't have enough curve angle to go because their arm is not bent enough in order to get around that curve. All right, so let's do some curve movements right here. I'm gonna show you two different ways, but I'm gonna let you know exactly how I'm gonna do it. So, <clears throat> normally for me, when I'm going around curves, I like to push slowly in the opposite, in, in, in the direction that I'm going. I push slowly in the direction when I'm going. That means when I'm combing the curves, I'm pushing in the direction that I'm going. If it's a left angle, a right angle, me, I like to pull, pull real quick. Just before I get to that corner, the bike is going to shift and it's going to turn in the opposite direction. I'm going to show you exactly what that means. All right, so I'm going to go around this curve. I'm pushing on the curve. I'm coming to an angle going left. I'm going to pull with my right, with my right bar to go left. Right here, I'm going left. I'm going to pull with my right bar. Boom. You saw that? You don't even really see it because my arm is bent, but that's what I'm doing. I pulled on my right arm. Now this is going to be a curve. I'm going to slow down because it's a stop. I'm going to push with my left, left hand I'm pushing to complete the curve. You see how I'm going left? Then I got to do a quick right. I got to push right. That's how you do those quick S curves. You push left to go left quickly, and then you push right to go right quickly. You know, you can't be too slow, if, depending on how tight. Like, this is kind of tight. I'm going to push right quickly, a little bit left. Now, I'm going to push left going up quickly because it's kind of a quick turn. So, I'm going to push left, and then I'm going to push right to go straight. You saw how that is? That's how you control your bike. I'm coming around a long S curve. I'm gonna slow down. And now I'm gonna get to the outside. I'm gonna push left. I'm pushing 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 left. Until I'm around the curve. Same thing here. It's a curve. I'm gonna push left. Until I'm out the curve. All right, I'm gonna swerve. Here's that bump. I want to get right in the middle. Boom. I'm going to push left. I'm in between it. Boom. Again, I'm going to push left to go in between it. Boom. That's how you get in between that. That's how you swerve around stuff. I'm going to push right. The left, I'm going to pull right. The right angle, I'm coming to another right angle. I'm going to pull right. I pull right, and now I'm going. So for me, when I'm going on a 90 degree turn, whether it's left or right, I pull with the bar instead of pushing. When I'm doing curves, I push. Here, I, I'm pushing, because it's a curve. Another curve is coming, I'm on the outside. I'm pushing to the right now. So you see how I went from left to right? That's going to prevent you from crashing. Pushing left to right to go where you want to go. Here comes a right curve. I'm going to push to the right. I'm going to get to the outside. I'm going to push to the left. 
and then back to the right to go back in. And guys, that's basically what you do. So I showed you two demonstrations on what I like to do when I'm counter steering. For me to go to the left, all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna push to the left, okay? For me to go to the right, all I'm gonna do is push to the right. For me, when I'm going around curves, I like the pushing effect because you can slowly get on and you can push hard or push push not too hard in order in order to know you know how much curving you need to go around a specific curve so if your curve is long you're going to be slowly pushing in pushing in pushing in pushing in pushing in pushing in until you come out the curve on the other side same with the right if it's a real long curve you know you're pushing you're pushing you keep pushing you're holding you're steady and steady until you come out the other side right angles when you come into a curve right angle you can do the same thing if you're going left all you got to do is push left really quickly in order to get that tire to turn the opposite direction so it falls back in the opposite direction to where you're going so either way you can push you know to make that tight angle or you can pull with you know uh, to make that tight angle so those are just the two different ways how I like to, you know, ride. There you go, passing by.